get the meeting started. We'll start with our uh, pledge and invocation. Commissioner Patton, if you would please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Holy Father in heaven, we come before thee this evening. Thank you that everything well with us as it is for our present health, strength, and energy. Ask your blessings upon this meeting as we try to conduct the business of our city. Give us wisdom and compassion to make the decisions that be best for all concerned. For we add our steps upon this earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Right. Welcome everybody out tonight. Okay, I'm still waiting. Maybe you should be here any minute. Right. AB is coming? Right? Yes. Okay. We have two outs tonight. We've got one sick and one in the hospital, so we're going to have to stumble through this one a little bit. But uh, first item of business will be the approval of minutes. Move. Okay, go ahead. I move to approve the minutes of regular and special meeting. Second. Motion is second. Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next is the bills. I make a motion we pay the bills. Second. Motion is second. Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Next item, number one under old business, is the uh, final reading on the KU franchise agreement. It, I mean, <laughs> it's basically just need those we, three copies signed. She's got them. But we need to go ahead and we oh, have to approve it for yeah, another. Yeah. KU, KU franchise. Well, yeah. let me sign. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. I would sign us. And we still haven't, we haven't decided on the lights. We still haven't decided on the lights. We still we think we're going to go okay. ahead and do yeah, it. Just let me know. On the what? Yeah. On the lights down at the pickleball court. We were talking about maybe. Yeah. Jump and come, yeah. We haven't decided on that yet. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Well, since Larry has stepped out on us, we're going to skip down a little bit to the uh, item number three is the restroom bids for the amphitheater. And our recommendation, the Tourism Commission opened those bids, and after looking at them, our recommendation is to reject all bids. I move to reject all bids on the amphitheater restrooms. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, saying by the aye. Aye. Opposed, saying. Okay, we'll go back up now to 2022-2023 budget amendment, first reading. Uh, can we move that to the end, please? The budget amendment? <laughs> yeah, budget amendment and the budget proposal. Okay. Okay, next item then will be the clerk position. That'll be closed session. Okay, so that's, okay. Well, then, last item I have under new business is Code Enforcement Board, and I've got names for two individuals to put up for that. The first one is Tim Blair. We'll need a motion on each and one of them individually. I move to appoint Tim Blair to the Code Enforcement Board. Second. A motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. And the second one. Congratulations, Tim. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't even see him. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tim. I'd known you was. Okay, and the, the other one is a uh, young man by the name of Rhett Baggerly. Make a motion we accept Rex Brackley for the Code Enforcement Board. Second. Motion second. Those in favor of signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Okay. Charles, do you have anything to bring forth? No, I no. don't. Kevin? I'm good. I'm tickled to death the way things are going right now. No. Nope. Pickleball? Yeah, but we got it done for free, so I'm not saying a word. It's good. <laughs> right now, it's good. All right. Do you have anything to? I'm not just conversation. Mike? David? Guest? 
What, what have you talked? <laughs> Y'all didn't just come to watch us. Somebody has to talk. <laughs> yeah, we, we were having some issues with a neighbor of ours uh, down at the uh, north side plaza. Uh, we keep having the fences being placed up. And, uh, we just wanted to bring it to your all's attention and see what, what we can do. I wish AV, AV, I know, has been working on it mm -hmm. because yeah. we're talking about I mean, it's like, I don't know, but to me it's a fire hazard or anything else. Well, that's the angle he's looking well, at. Well, no, I mean, the thing is, you just figure one of the buildings catch you on fire. With how any of the fences up, I don't care. And how the ends blocked off down there and take the pants. You know how hard it is to get out on the highway anyway. And you got all these cars stuck in there, and then you got firefighters trying to come in there, and you got this, and it's going to be a cluster, you know. And I know that's the, the <laughs> first thing he was looking at was on, on that back entrance to see what we can do about it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know what he's found out. Because yeah. uh, I know we talked about it, and I know he was going to start doing some research to see what we can and can't do. Well, he, he seemed to think, you know, he wanted to combine, you know, get, get the approval for all the fences I think it wants to come down. Uh, we just feel like if this guy is difficult to deal with, then, you know. If, That's an understatement. Keep letting, what, what's he going to do next? Now, we don't disagree with that, that he's hard to deal with, but... Yeah. The only problem is, do we have any grounds to do anything about it? And that's what A.V. was looking into to see. I know the, the safety and uh, fire hazard was the number one thing to look at. Well, it looks like the, with the wooden fence, it looks like he's trying to hurt business, you know. I mean, the, the visualization of, you know, seeing what business, seeing that they're open, you know, all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. To but, me. Right, but it still comes back. He owns the property, and he has not done anything that I know of illegal, and that's what they're trying to. AV, like I say, is trying to look from the standpoint of the safety issue, because mm -hmm. this is something we've not had before that I'm aware of. I've had it before. It huh? I don't think I've ever seen it nowhere. I go everywhere. And I'm not sure why. He says so. <laughs> well, <laughs> well. I know him, so we'll like leave. If there was another <laughs> entrance, it would help a bunch, but it's still blocking where you can see your buildings. That's the well, main you thing. Know, this is a lot of tenants. They all have concerns, too. Yeah, and I mean, that's no. what I'm saying. When you're out in the parking lot, and you're, you can't see any of the buildings. You don't you don't know what's over there. If you don't, yeah. you can't, and you don't want to drive in there to look, so well, I don't Like know. I said, my main concern is if we did have an issue down there with something like a fire or something. Fire or like ambulance, either one. Cluster. Yeah. I mean, you can just agree. imagine. And who's that going to fall on? Us. I can't you know, answer. Jack, I know you can't. I can't answer that one either. No, I know. I I can imagine the frustration because I. I mean, it would be like me coming all the way around your house, blocking you in, to where you couldn't get out. Yeah. Okay. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Here comes Mr. Conway. I love it when he comes into a horse nest. I like it. <laughs> well, let's let him sit down first. <laughs> No, everybody turns to stare at him. He just walks in. That's what they do. Don't do that. He may turn around and walk out. He might. <laughs> that fence was just put up recently, wasn't it? Like it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, the last month, six weeks. He started with the chain link fence, and then he brought in somebody to put the poles at the end. You know, and now a couple years later, he's put the wooden fence up. So. Well, I ain't done nothing to him. I don't even get to to him. I, I think it started with him and Mr. Tanner. I think they had maybe a lawsuit or, or something that I dug up. Oh, really? Yeah. Over that back entrance to McDonald's? It was over at the McDonald's, yeah. Yeah, it was we coming in. We don't own McDonald's. I know, but I think it was over that back entrance to McDonald's. I think he claimed I to own that, that road. I mean, that would be like this. Uh, because he claimed to own that little road over there, there back there. Lot, and yeah. He might do it. Lot to get there, yeah. it'd be like this being behind ends and... Blocking it on, so y'all gotta walk around the highway or something. Or the well, sidewalk, or probably as far as the wooden fence and the safety aspect of the fire department, I mean, maybe I can speak to Butch on it, and he's in the process trying to figure out exactly what can be done. Uh, so we, I mean, it looks like for y'all would be easier if it was all gone. It would be. I mean, you know, I know you can throw a hose over it. Fence, but that's not what we're talking about. No, I'm talking about the chain. But then you still got to get somebody around over to handle the whole thing. You have to try to drag it after you pull water across. The fence that's in place now is going to have to take it out before we can even get started. Yeah. Because we couldn't pull in the parking lot. Now, this may have been just too close. Then this may have been too We put our equipment in danger. We block vehicles in. Yeah. He's ready to speak. Okay. We just make a big hole. Go ahead. There's the ones that are the ones asking. 
based on, yeah, based upon what the uh, fire chief said, and I'm, I'm appreciative of the of the comments, uh, which I think are entirely appropriate. Uh, the owner, the, the individual that put the fence up, needs to be notified to uh, to remove it. Uh, both the the uh, wooden fence and the poles uh, that uh, run to the back because without it, there's no way adequately to fight the fire if there is a fire there. And secondarily, in, of not insignificance, if a fire breaks out, it can't be handled in a proper fashion. You've got all those vehicles that are root, routinely parked right. behind it, not to speak of McDonald's, which is not too far away either. Mm -hmm. So so my recommendation is to give me the authority to draft a letter and I'll either sign it myself or, or uh, make it for your signature that gives the max number of days to to take the fences uh, down. And when I say fences, I mean both the wooden fence and what's left of that other fence uh, because initially there was clear access granite coming off of the uh, parking lot into those buildings, into those businesses. Remember, I think there were two right-of-ways, weren't there? Mm, there was. Three. Okay. There was now, three. now they, he closed them first, and then he's put this other fence up. Now, I haven't looked at those signs. There's signs on those. And it says if you're not, if you're not doing something that that, they're what he owns there, what he ever calls it, that you will be told. Well, he doesn't tell those people that work at McDonald's to park their car with you, does he? I think the McDonald's, I think McDonald's actually pays him a certain amount of money to be able to live the park. They really? Rent, they rent them parking spaces. <laughs> well, that, that's what it's all about, obviously, but, but um, his problem really is twofold. Number one, he's got, he's, he's created a fire hazard. And, and number two, there was previous access uh, both through there to the back, and there was access into those businesses coming off of the parking lot. I think the city's position is that that, that existed long enough for there to be uh, a public right-of-way to enter from those areas, but of more significance is, is the fire hazard, uh, because the fire hazard is... Uh, um, if I understand what you're saying, you couldn't, you wouldn't take a truck in there. No, absolutely would not. So would he be liable or would they be liable for the fire? Who? The guy, would the guy that put the fence up, if there was a fire, say, tonight, and I'm just, please don't let that happen. But if there was a fire tonight, would he, could he be sued for taking the, making that fence be there? Yes. So he could be? Absolutely. Okay. And for the loss of the profit of the business. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So he should want it down. That's the whole thing. <laughs> he put it, it up, Kevin. Huh? He I put it up. He should want it down so you don't get sued. Well, and it's like I said a while ago. I said, you just imagine if, if the place is full and the fire breaks out and that fence there and everybody's scrambling trying to get out of there. And the fire engine trying to get in. And the fire truck's trying to get in and you can't get out because, you know, you're going to have people gawking by putting it on Facebook and everything else while yeah. going down the road. So I meant to. There'll be wrecks while it's happening. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, then you'll have wrecks out there by McDonald's and then it'll be a real mess. I mean, that's just what it could happen. I'm just saying it might, probably wouldn't, but who knows. Do we have to make that a motion? Mm-hmm. Make a motion that we have Mr. Conway write a letter, and I don't care who signs it, do you ever want to be assigned? It doesn't matter to me. To, uh -huh. Because of the situation. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify right aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. A.V., do we have any, or David or somebody, Larry, Mike, do we have anything to go back and find out when that the poles were put up across the back and when the chain link fence was put up? That's a good question. It'd be nice to know a date. I would really like to know when that happened, if there's any way. Do you have it? <laughs> I think I've got pictures. The thing is, I was down there the day they put the poles up. I remember the day they put the poles on it. No, the, the back poles. The back poles, yeah. yeah. When, when? You, know, you know what day it was? Yeah. It was in the COVID. Uh, uh, 2020. Things are called bollards. Uh, 2020, they uh, required our business yeah. closed down, and I went out there and I saw they walking on it. I noticed, yeah. I'm a tenant. Just 
Did he say 2020? 2020, yeah. Well, there's a second question in this now. When was the, uh, when were those uh, businesses constructed? When was that mall put in? What year? Because until that time, there was open access both off the parking lot and into the back. Do you remember when you put that in? First, and then the poles. Hmm? Do you remember what year that you put that in? The, uh, the metal poles were put up March the 30th, 2020. Uh, that's the the bollards across the, bollards, the back? Yeah, the yes. bollards. Yes. And, and Dr. Mills, when was the... Maybe 20 years. When, it's been there when was it year. built to build that up? With? I think it was 2004. Yeah. Uh, that was Neil. Uh, yeah, Neil. Yeah, Neil, Neil built it. Neil Renfro yeah. built it. Yeah. Neil yeah. and Yes. I was like that. We could possibly even have some on some stuff here okay. when the okay. meters were set. Here, here's the significance of the dates. And I, I, I think I've mentioned this to Dr. Mills before. There, there's and the city's dealt with this all, over and over for, for years. Um, Simply because there is an alley, let's say, that somebody put in a plat here in Beaver Dam doesn't make it public way, doesn't make it a public street, doesn't make it a street of the city of Beaver Dam. What makes it a public way, the city doesn't have to grant it or not grant it, what makes it a public way is if it's open to the public continuously for everybody to see and know for at least 15 years. So if this existed from 2004 to 2020, he That's never had the right to close it at all. It either end. Now, having said that, at some point there was some discussion about it was like 2007 and 2008. If that's when it was, then there's a, there's a, there's a tussle to be had over whether or not it is a public right of way. Well, if you go back a little bit further, it used to be a, a deposit bank. You know, when Neil had his first brick building barbershop there, which predates the 2004. I'm not old enough to remember when he had a barbershop. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he built the strip mall. Uh -huh. He's the one that built the deposit really bank there, wasn't it? That little prefab yeah, building. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's where he I forgot about that. First barbershop was first. But, did, always been there. but did it have access all the way to the back or just? I think the access was there when McDonald's was built back yeah. in 90. No, no, I'm right. talking about for the shopping center where the little strip center of theirs, when I where it ties in to the back. Did, the, the, the 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 did the bank yes. have that drive through? Yes. Okay. It was like, you know, which, which bank was it? It was the Beaver Down Deposit Bank. I guess. It, it, it yeah. was yeah. 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 I'm talking a uh, bunch. I mean, it was the, when, when I was in grade school. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you know. You were in grade school. Be careful, you're dating yourself. Yeah. Well, well, they they the, 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 the parking lot was built in 1981. The big one was in 1981. Finished in 1981. It was a little, it was a little brick. Shop. Yeah, the little brick. It was a little prefab building they brought in and bricked it. It, it. it had, had a, the bank. A, a small drive through. Yeah. And it got wrong. So you've got <laughs> pictures of your mom. And I would bet you Neil's going to, if Neil had something down there, he's probably got some you. pictures of it. And you're saying it's a beaver, it was the bank before that. It was, it, well, Neil and the bank went in about the same time, didn't it? Because Neil moved to oh, the bank. No, that's the bank. So the bank saw it. Okay, that's what it was. And well, the what was the access in and out? I'm pretty sure it was a solid parking lot. For the whole it day. was at one time. You didn't even, it wasn't even any there was no, dirt there was no, or anything. You just drove right in. You would have there. never known that there, that there, there was two pieces of property. Yeah. Now, if memory serves, uh, but I think. I think you're right. Here's, here's a, the immediate problem is, is if I understand the gentleman, what is said about the gentleman, <laughs> he's going to ignore the letter, probably. Oh, yeah. Uh, I went down there when they was putting them bottles, and when they was doing that guy more or less told me to go F off, yeah. and I didn't like it, so I said something else. I seen him get on his phone. Next thing you know, he's handing me his phone, and some guy supposedly his lawyer or mother in Tries to chew my hide in. Did that work out too good? I guess the DA still sold Bernie Anderson. If um, if he ignores it, it's it's one thing for the for the city to take it on. The the the, the action is pretty simple. 
that it's a, it's a public right of way. It's always been, it's been a public right of way for more than 15 years. There's an easement, he never had the right to pose it at all. And now it's a fire hazard. The, the fences have got to come down, et cetera. You ask, you ask first for a uh, restraining order, which you may or may not get, but ultimately what your, what your remedy is to ask for a uh, uh, mandatory injunctive relief which in which the court orders him to remove it, and then if he doesn't remove it, then the court orders sheriff's office to take such action as necessary to remove it. It's probably not the quickest of processes, and it would make sense for um, the, for the owner down there and for the other businesses to join in uh, with a separate cause of action, which would then be joined with the city's action uh, to, to push to try to get the thing removed pretty quickly. Um, but I didn't know there was anything there before tomorrow, really. I don't know. I'd forgotten about the bank. Yeah, no, I remember too. being there. But I remember it being there when you started talking about it. I remember it being there. The same place, same location. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, old, the old bank is sitting over by Charlie's Market now. Right. right, that's where he moved. I couldn't remember yeah. if it was still there. But yeah, he moved it over. To I Charlie think he tore it down. Did he? Okay. Oh, he's still at Grooming Place. Yeah. 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 I don't think. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think I told him. So yeah, he moved it right over there. Was it the bank first? Hmm. It was just a and branch. Then, it's just a was. little branch where you could just do your do your banking right there. Okay. Keep people out downtown. That was back in the day when they couldn't cross city lines and they couldn't put one in Hartford, so yeah. they went the next best thing, put it as close as they could. And all it was was like a little trailer with a brick facade. Mm -hmm. it. it wasn't anything crazy. The bank may have some. Yeah, they might know what it was. Still doing. have some mail. I don't. Was John down there then? Would John have been there at that point? Yeah, he would have been there when that was done. Probably. So Cheryl might have been there. Cheryl would be, would be the first one I would call. Yeah, she didn't know it. <laughs> yeah. well, if, you're only talking about, if you're only talking about 15 years, that's... No, but I think that bank was there in the mid-90s. <laughs> yeah. Or earlier. Yeah, it, I think it was earlier than that. Uh, and then Neil, is Neil still at the barber shop? Well, he moved it. See, he stayed there for he's years. Yeah, he but is, is he still barber? Right? No, he's not barber. He's, he's not? He sold it out. Uh, He's, he's, he's not there, but you can get, I mean, he's we just saw him before we came. He's well, still the business. He just releases it out. He just releases it out. Yeah. AV, would it matter how long, and I, I don't know how long it's been. It's been for a long time, but would it matter how long Urshing's owned it? Who? The guy that owns it. Is it Henderson or Madisonville? Henderson. You're talking about that owns the park? <coughs> that owns the shopping, the big shopping center? How long has he owned it? I don't know, and it may be longer than I'm. It may be 20 years. I don't know, but I know he didn't own it initially. I think he's the third. Well, that'd be pretty. That'd be That's easy to find out, but I didn't know if that would. To, I'm trying to think of any roadblock right now before we get in. Well, the answer is no, because he, he buys it subject to any okay. established access. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't I would assume that, but I don't like to assume when it comes yeah, to your job. Well, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I think in this, I think in this situation. Uh, do we have pictures of, of the old fence, the new fence, the old works? Okay. <laughs> do, do you know when the chain link was put up? 2020, said what? No, yeah, that's no, the that Bollards. Oh, oh, that's. Yeah, that was uh, that was two years before. Was that long enough? It's fallen down. Yeah. Well, it's been backed into. He <laughs> pushed it right up against the park right. Kidding. Yeah. It's still the chain link at one time. Still had the openings. The concrete was going across the. There, the at one point? No. No, he, he, he took out some blacktop and attached the parking lot. I knew there was blacktop in between the ditches. Was See, I was thinking the chain link thing. He cut that at that time, too. No, 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 no. it was no, nothing there. So he cut out that. Because we was happy because it was dirty between it and growing up in grass. We was happy to keep spray. I didn't expect this either. Okay, I'll drive it. Circulate it. You all look at so you know what. Okay. okay. We'll see what happens. Right. Should be interesting. I know <laughs> he. I don't know if he, he might not ignore. He might. We might get a phone call from him.
Makes sense. I've had one once before from him. Yeah. Was it him or a lawyer? It was him. Oh, I've dealt with him in the past. It shows that he built it in 2004. Do we know who his lawyer is? Yeah. He told me about him. Remember what his name was? That's what PBA Was it Henderson? Constructed Was it Neil Dean? I just, I figured he was. You talking about Neil? No, the big one. Oh. I was trying to see what he was involved with it. And I know it, it predates that, so. The big one? Oh, yeah, it was 1981. Walmart. It was finished. Win Dixie. The only thing they show off the PBA's construction is deconstruction in 2004. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it when they bought it, when the bank bought it? It doesn't show who, but I'll look through the deeds, but it shows 95s. I see, if it's going to go way up well past 15 years. Yeah. Who'd the bank buy from? Did you tell you that? Uh, I'm looking right now. Bet the oranges, don't you imagine? Huh? Don't you imagine it was the oranges they bought? Well, I don't know, because that was after McDonald's, and uh, she may have kept a strip in there. Strip in there. <laughs> Yeah, she didn't know it. She didn't know all about it. It'd be nice if the bank had bought it from him. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it, may, it may take a little while, but we will get the letter okay. sent out to him and get this process started anyway. All right. All right. See where the chips fall. Thank you all. Thank you all. Tim, you got anything? Tim, you got anything you want to chat about? No, sir. Don't let those photographs burn up or anything. <laughs> <laughs>
then the city issue won't take care of it because they excessive rain. Well, I went down there and looked at your house. I don't know that it's a city issue as much as it is. Whoever built the houses, which I, I think the man's dead now that built the houses, he didn't give no, there's no way for the water to get away from those houses. There's no ditch in front of your house. And the tiles that he put in are like this yeah. big, four inches. Yeah. You know, they're supposed to be about this big, and they're supposed to be where the water will drain. I mean, I went out there and looked at your house. I went all the way up to the other end and looked. And and I don't know that it's a city issue as much as it is when they built the subdivision. He just didn't care where the water went. He didn't really look ahead and say, we need the water to flow this way and come down this way, and that's what you got to do. And, and, again, I'm not blaming him either. He's not here to defend himself. Yeah. But that I don't know that it's that it would be the city's issue as much as it was when they built the houses, they built them that way. But still, it's sewer should become our home. We pay our sewer bill, I mean, and stuff like that, pay taxes. It should not be coming inside our house. Did time. you check your trap to make the, 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 the oh, valve that, no, I haven't the one-way valve? You know, I have to dig up my yard, you know, yeah. to look, and I can't have to do that every time and you go, know, check and be sure it's okay. I shouldn't have to worry about a trap if I had proper sewer. Well, most people have one on. I've got one on my house. Well, the know, sewer I, I had it installed back in 2016, one installed in it because that house didn't have one. So you, you did have a microflow back preventer on it? In for my neighbors lost all of theirs, I had one right before they installed in mine. Because I was keep on having issues, I keep get my drain snaked out all the time. So they, he told me, hey, we need to install this trap, so I had them installed. But I can't keep digging up my yard check to be sure the trap's going to be already. They should have lasted longer than that. If you did it in 2016, it should still be right. working right. Have you talked to the contractor that put it in? Mm -hmm. Those things usually Because the backflow preventer should have kept anything from coming back up into, 15 your, years at least. into your house. At least 15. Oh, don't it should last longer than that. I, mean, I was, I was saying There's not much to them. No, it just prevents anything from going back into the line. Always, everything yeah. can come out, yeah. but it can't go back. And well, that's why I say, like, you know, look down in there, you don't see nothing. I mean, I went to, well, now, this, this isn't the cap for, like, the clean out or something. This is a, it's in the a valve that's in the line yeah. that... Basically, the way it works, if you've got a pipe right here and you've got this valve right here, and as water goes out, it flows up and lets it out and then flops back down, but water can't okay. yeah, come back, back the other back. way. Yeah. Yeah. And yours does have one of those? Yeah, I had one installed back in 2016. Then that's where your problem was going to lie. Was however, yeah. either it's not working properly or it wasn't installed properly because that should have no water should have come back in there if that was in there properly. And again, we're not picking on them either, but that should have stopped the problem. Did, so. Yeah. Yeah, that should have stopped your problem. So, I, you know, I hate for you to have to spend more money, but you may want to have them check it. If you know the contract was a local person. Uh, my parents had somebody come up there and do I have to get, you know, say who they hired to do that because they hired somebody who had it done. But that valve should alleviate the problem, keep anything from coming back. For some reason, whatever reason, it didn't. Especially if you said it's happened more than once. Yeah. Because that's what they're it, for. When you first put it in, did it Last four or five houses down on our end, constantly having issues. Well, I know the end house, isn't she the one that put one in? Larry came up here when we were up in the old commission room. Yeah, yeah, she put one in after she lost everything yeah. in her house. Yeah. Does she still uh, get stuff back up in? The time and then uh, and she ended up putting one in. But does she get stuff backing up in her house still? Well, she still had the issue, uh, stuff coming in her garage, flooding out the whole inside her garage. She said, this last one, when I lost everything, mine, she said it did come in her house, but her whole garage was flooded out. But that was from stormwater, not sewer water? I guess. She didn't say exactly. Yeah. But my neighbor across the road from me had flooded out her house, too, and she had to pull up all her copper, too. Sewer or flood? It's sewer. Called me, hers up 5 o'clock one, but I was up my mind, she across the road, we me doing hers, and... She ended up having to rip all her carpet out. I wonder if she has one of those. Do you know she has a back No, I think she's just renting that house. Oh, okay. So I don't know. That's where I would start because that sounds to me like that's where the problem's at. Well, I, it, I know, it should have. I know when you've got a low lying level, they almost always put one in to prevent the water from going right. in because water won't on your flat like where you're at. Yeah. Flat water won't run off as fast and has a tendency to back up. So they put one in so the water can't get back in. Yeah. So you said you had used to have your sewer line cleaned because you get roots and well, stuff in it? Yeah, it used to. I, like every six months, had to get them snaked out, all the roots and stuff like that. Then uh, the guy, you know, 
told my parents stuff like that. Well, you know, you need to install one of these. That's going to help it out. So they had them install one of them in it. And of course, I never had to get a snake ever, you know, ever again since I had, you know, the If you have a server that, that roots are growing through, that also lets rain water in too. Yeah. So. But yeah, he dug up the whole yard and redone all that pipe there and put one in. And But the backflow preventer wouldn't have anything to do with the roots getting in the line. I mean, they're still going to get there even with it in there. So you said you hadn't had any problem with the roots since then? Was there a tree being taken out or anything? No. Because the roots are going to follow. They're going to go towards the line if they can find it. Like I said, it used to for that done is like every six months had to get snaked out. And ever since they installed that trap, never had to get a snake you know, out. The trap wouldn't have anything to do with it. Yeah. Roots, though, so I don't know why that would have happened. If the roots are still there and that trap door comes up and the roots go under, it's well, not letting the door go down. But he just said he hadn't had to snake it. Go away. It's going to get out of your house. Oh, yeah. it's, it's going it's to. It don't, don't take just a bird. No, I know. It's sliver to keep it. It's supposed to be. Any house is a can as bad as it can. That's all it's about. As many as it could. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you know where that's at? What? The, the backflow? Yeah, it's right there wet at my front door there in the yard there. No, I, I know that's where the, like the clean house at, but you know where the valve well, is at? He dug up the whole area there in front of okay. the ports and redone that and put one down in there. Redone it. I'm going to say that's where the problem's at. If for some reason, it's not working adequately or not working at all. It should because it should keep anything from coming back because we have houses all over the place with them. I said, all my other neighbors, you know, dealing with issues too. So I said, well, you know, we're going to go get to the health department on it, and now I'm going to go back send everything back to the governor's office. Okay. Okay, you need to entertain a motion on the closed session. I have a motion to go in closed session. Second. Okay. Are we back, are we back in? Did you get Charles a second? Okay. Okay. We're back in motion. Uh, back in open session. I make a motion that we transmission transition Miss Shelby Whiteley from city clerk to tourism coordinator. Second. We have motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. But you still have to do water bills this week. Yeah, you have to do water bills this week. That's the only other stipulation. <laughs> uh, Larry, we're up to the 2022-2023 budget amendment, first yes, reading. budget amendment. Uh, I didn't have time to fill on the for you, but I'll go over it. Uh, general expense on maintenance repairs, we need to raise uh, from 40000 to 280000 This is going to be the blacktop in the park, some of the money. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going more. You said it's been on maintenance and repairs. I was on equipment, yeah, well, you know, back over. That's why I told you the uh, black topping. Okay. Uh, then the fire department, we're going to, uh, on technical supplies, it's going to go from 8000 to 30000 uh, Sanitation expense is on the landfill services is going to go from 51000 to 56000 On sanitation expense, equipment parts from 7000 to 20000 We had the incident on the truck. Uh, and a local person working on it. Uh, motor fuel and little lubricant on sanitation is going to go from 10000 to 13500 A lot of money. Water expense, uh, water expense uh, professional technical fees is going to go from 200000 to three fifty. the difference in the water line on 231. Well, I thought we already had it built into the budget. Well, I did, but I didn't have the $360,000 or whatever, so I had, I had to raise it. Uh, the motor fuel and water expense as well from 14000 to 18000 and technical supplies and water from 10000 to 15000 This This will be the first reading on the budget. That one on the the maintenance, like for the park, went from how much to how much? On oh, which one? The park. 40 uh, to 240000 Nothing on the park. The paving? The paving well, was forty to 240000 to 280000 the, the bid come in at uh, 199000 or something. Uh, I put some extra room in there in case we're going to do something different around. Okay, but you're not counting in the fact that we're getting in 90000 almost 90000 back. No, no, no. I okay. Didn't, I, I didn't do anything on the income side, but it was fine. Okay. And I figured that would money to cover all this? Well, it will, but that's why I was... <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the question, Larry. We got enough money to cover all this? If we didn't, I wouldn't do this. <laughs> 
that, 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 that figured out, yeah. <laughs> I moved to approve the budget amendments. Uh, go ahead. I need a second. second. I do have one more question. What was the fire department? Fire department was technical supplies from 8000 to 30000 We got state aid money and stuff, and David had bought some, some fittings and whatnot for the new truck. Mm -hmm. And we was getting close on a line item, so I just went ahead and adjusted it up. I don't know what all you've got, but if, if you look at your, well, I don't have my packet here. If, if you look on fire, fire department technical supplies, you'll see there's an also a difference in the project or the projected expense and the actual. So I thought I'd go ahead and adjust as we was. Oh, cover it off for one. Okay. Yep. Okay, we're motioning second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the 2023-2024 proposed budget first reading. And that's what they gave you a packet of. I move to approve the 23-24 budget, first reading of the budget. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Pass, motion passes. Does anyone have anything else to bring up? Was there anything else? I don't have anything else. Okay, entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. I'll second.